What's up guys? It's your boy Tim Rose and as promised I would fill you in on my van conversion. This is Vanna White. She's a 2018 Ford Transit that I bought last week. She's a medium roof so it's about six feet tall on the inside. The clearance is about nine feet and I'm starting the conversion with the sound deadening. So all the materials that I bought for this include about 200 square feet of 80 mil kill mat. This is the cheapest stuff that I could find. It's like rattle trap or dynamat. A lot of people use it in car audio applications. And then I got like two rollers, a big roller and a small roller. This small roller is actually more useful in the van than the flat one so far. And I'll get into that in a minute. And then you just need this thing cut the corners with and to finish it off for the exposed edges some aluminum tape so basically as you can see I've already started now the one thing that people never tell you about this stuff is that oh boy do you need a lot of energy to install it so the stuff is not it's, it doesn't have adhesive added to it. It's tacky material itself that's covered in foil. So you need to push, like Play-Doh, you need to push it into the wall and have it stick. Now doing it in the cold is not recommended and uh, you're gonna need a lot of energy. So coffee is a necessity. If you do energy, energy drinks, that's a necessity. If you can handle a little bit of recreational crystal meth, I don't recommend it. I've never been able to do it in moderation. So maybe just skip that and stick to the coffee. So basically, it's a lot of work. Um, I did the floor, it took about a day, like at least eight hours of labor. And I've done the windows this morning. It's taken me about two hours. And the other thing that's exciting about my van conversion is that as you can see, I'm living in it while I do it. <laughs> So um, follow me as I roll some of this stuff into the windows. One sheet down, a couple hundred to go. You'll notice that the ringing, it just kills that. So sound deadening this thing takes a long time. This stuff is also not cheap. So if you're not too worried about noise, you can skip this part, but I wouldn't because I'm gonna use mine as a music production space once I have power in here and part of recording is keeping it quiet so this stuff is super important to me and I'll follow this up with more sound insulation and more heat insulation thanks for watching thanks for joining the patreon if you're taking lessons from me I'll see you Monday <laughs>